This week we remember games that you should be, should have been playing on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 77, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to Begin get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. Jayton, and forgive me for the hat head. Um, if, if you're um, listening to this on audio podcast, my hair is fine. Um, <laughs> joining us as usual, it's Sorg. Sorg, uh, what, what did you achieve in gaming this week? I achieved uh, getting in a little bit of double XP weekend on Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, nice. I still am not good at the game, so moving on from there. Yeah, none of us are really because we haven't been practicing i'm good at chachi. the game chachi what did you what did you achieve this week in gaming well well first off i'm good at call of duty ghost <laughs> so screw you guys because you conquered um, the entire I, black ops 2 yeah because you conquered the entire black ops 2 yeah well you'll have that um but uh, i beat uh assassin's creed liberation hd um Double twist ending. Double reverse twist ending. Uh, amazing. Um, the game itself is fun. Uh, it connects perfectly with the rest of them. And even though it was a smaller game, which that pissed me off, um, it, it's definitely worth picking up if you're into the series. And if you're not into the series, we need to have a serious discussion because I need to know why you're not into the series. Cool. That's a good question. Because I asked, I asked it on Twitter the other day, and I no one really answered me. I got one response, and um, it wasn't a negative response, uh-huh. so it didn't really count. <laughs> I think you're preaching a choir here because everybody here is into Assassin's Creed, right? So mm-hmm. it's, I, I am know. curious. I'm curious. I, I just didn't I was pick reaching up out to the listeners. Of course, of course. So, all right, Riz, what did you achieve this week in gaming? I downloaded Cash, Clash of Clans. Uh, if you haven't seen the commercials yet, it's pretty cool. Those are the little guys with the things? Yeah, it's the little guys and then the hog riders and yeah. the giant guys getting hit by boulders laughing. Um, yeah, it's not good at all. <laughs> really? It, it, not I good can't, at all? I can't start playing this game. Thank you for saving me the time. Good. That's, right, that's and, what we do here. Oh, that's what ahead. we do. We inform you, the viewers, of games that you might want to pick up or might not. Mm-hmm. This isn't one you should pick up. Unless you're... All right. All right. And I, and I uh, downloaded Tales of Vesperia on Xbox uh, Live Arcade, or on Xbox Live. It was on sale this week. I picked it up for $5, um, which for a big game, that's not bad at all. Mm-hmm. Um, played the first couple minutes of it. So it, it seems pretty cool so far. Um, has like an anime uh, RPG, action RPG feel to it. So um, I'll be checking more of that game out this week, and I'll let you guys know how it is. Awesome. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Yes. Real quick. I just amassed yeah. 20 minutes and penalty minutes with one body check. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's checked, fight. That is impressive. Uh, it was uh, it was boarding uh, and a fight, which is boarding, five minutes fight. for <laughs> fighting, uh, five minutes for conduct. major, ten minutes for game misconduct. You guys should, that should, that's your uh, achievement, second achievement for this week. Yeah. They, should, they should give you an actual achievement for that. All right, we're going to go into our new segment, which is Across the Net. net, net, net. Uh, Chachi, I think you have that. Let me just say that I have tons of fun doing this segment, or <laughs> uh, doing this story. It looks like because it. Because normally the stories that I pass up, because they, there's nothing there, it's just me going, uh, what, or laughing at it. <laughs> I get to compile them, a few of them, into a post and pass them on to you. And now, apparently, it's good enough to become its own segment of the show. Yep. So, this week, in weird video game-themed things from across the internet, net, net, and we're still looking for a better title. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dr. Mario has decided to stop practicing medicine and start making drugs. No, oh, no, Mario. I wish I were kidding. Um, in Belgium, a, a new form of ecstasy has taken place. It's called Nintendo. Uh, which will bring a whole new meaning to the words "want to play Nintendo." 
and it, it's it, it's just a small pill. Uh, uh, if you're not familiar with ecstasy, all it is is a pill, and how they sell it is it's branded in different uh, popular names. Who um, isn't familiar with ecstasy? What's that? What? What'd you say? So Nothing. Who isn't familiar with ecstasy. Chachi, I hey, think we need to have a group invention. What's that? I think we need to have a group invention. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, this party. week, a band named Man Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Are they Japanese? <laughs> no, they're they're from Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it, it's an indie group, and decided that there was a. They got together and decided that there was enough theme music uh, from the Street Fighter series that they could make a rock opera out of it. Hmm. And they All did. Right. There is there is only one song that you need to play. <laughs> uh, Street Fight uh, rounds one, two, and three are available on Bandcamp. You can get the link from insertcointobegin dot com. Um, round one is free. Well, it, it's pay what you, pay what you want, which means you could pay nothing, or you can toss them a few bones. Um, episodes two and three, or rounds two and three, are seven dollars a piece. I've listened to most of round one, and it's extremely well done. Um, you're talking about redoing the songs and adding lyrics. Huh. Hmm. So there's that. And last but not least in this week's uh, weird thing, weird video game thing, things from across the internet is the yeah. NHL Hockey Bird. Uh, it started this past weekend in the – Brandon uh, Sutter, right? What's that? Brandon Sutter, right? Uh, yeah. Penguins fans will get that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, started, uh, it started this past week in the uh, New York Stadium Series uh, game. But what Hockey Bird is, it's an angry bird who plays hockey – and throughout the games, he'll pop up on the Jumbotron in the arena, and depending on how loud you cheer, will determine how well he does in the mini game. Huh. Huh. And once again, there's a there's a whole they did a whole trailer for him, um, and it is tag team with uh, Rovio, so it's 100% uh, legit. And that no, no, is this oh. week. Weird things from across the internet. No, 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 no. All right. Um, Back to you, going... Bobby. All right. Now it's time some th for some things you should be made aware of. Um, Riz, I think there was a hoax about um, this champion world championship cartridge from Nintendo. This this just bugs my mind. So you guys know the world championship. The 1999 World Championship game for Nintendo NES, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rarest cartridge. You see uh, in the world? what they do. You, see, you know Nintendo Power did a thing where they handed out gold ones of these and and all this, but there's I I don't know how or why somebody would buy the the the, the actual copy of the game. Which is basically a regular, like the actual game with the little knobs on the side and with the label on it. If it's not gold plated, like in the the rare version, for the amount that the, that Nintendo had on there, or and the amount that the eBay purchaser is selling it for. The the, the bidding price started. At five hundred thousand dollars. Now, again, I wouldn't pay that if it was the the gray copy of the game. If it was the gold copy of the game, yes. But here's where the things get a little choppy. Uh, the game itself looks like shit. There, there's a picture on Intercoin to begin of the actual video game, co the console itself. That's that's that what it should look like. Now, if you go to my pit, my story, you can see what it really looks like in the eBay photo. And it, the the label is torn off. And in 
pencil, it looks like, is the word Mario. <laughs> and somebody, I don't, and it, for some reason, somebody decided to pay, what was it, 900, above $900,000, almost a million dollars. No, was it 999000 yeah, like hundred thousand a million dollars for this game. I, well, why would it? No, I, I see. In the article, it's claiming that the daughter made the final bid, and they have no intention of paying. Yeah, well, then good for good for them. They don't have to pay for that crap. I, it it it's pointless to pay that much for a game, mistake or not. But still, it, it is it is a rarity, and it is, it's the intention but, of how how much do you think that's worth as a collector, for one thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty crazy. But I mean, even well, even the last bid, it still it was up there. I mean, there's there's three hundred. It was and, around eight hundred thousand then. What's that? It should be like around eight hundred thousand dollars if that if that bid was that high. Mm-hmm. Well, so, somebody also put a new one up that they had, um, and it's around like five thousand dollars right now. So, uh, well, I want to see how high this legitimate one goes. For. Yeah, it, it is, is it legit. Yeah, it's legit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is this, this, this is like this, this is that eBay that lost is known effect. for shit like this. Yeah, yeah. Like remember uh, a few months ago they had. Uh, some guy in England, I think, bought what he thought was the Xbox One with console, with, with a game. And it turned out that he bought a picture of the console with the video game. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's low. Well, first off, um, you need to read what you're buying. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. There's that. Secondly, uh, as I pointed out probably five episodes ago when I brought up the $300 copy of Paperboy, <laughs> people are going to put prices on it just because they can. Mm-hmm. Um, secondly, <laughs> I can turn around right now and grab a cartridge and by next week have a copy of World Championship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I, I could pop a label on it. I can cut the cartridge to make it look like it, and there's my copy and throw it on eBay. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the the only person that's really gonna know, well, I'm sure it'll make its way out, is if either of these copies are real or the people who buy them. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, I don't know. Maybe don't people buy anything just, from eBay. Yeah, pretty much. Don't buy anything big off of eBay. <laughs> That's it. I want to buy shoes. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> Don't buy shoes on eBay. That's just dumb. I know. Bobby, I'm not no. Going to buy shoes on eBay. All right, we're gonna move on to our next story. Um, Gears of War um, is now owned exclusively by Microsoft. Um, they bought the rights of uh, this is Gears of War mistake. from Epic uh, Epic Games. Um, they also um, hired Rod Ferguson, uh, the former director of productions uh, of the series at Epic. He's going to join uh, Microsoft and be a key studio leadership role at Black Tusk, uh, which is going to develop the next Gears of War game. They're also working on another game that was unannounced. Uh, so they have like two games they're working on right now, um, Black Tusk. But um, Cliffy B is not going to be a part of the series. He's not coming to Microsoft. Uh, he said he's done with this franchise, so um, he's going to move on from that. Um, are you guys excited for another Gears of War game? If they can maybe fix it, I don't know. Um, Judgment didn't do that, that well. Gears of War three was was okay. I, I think it's I like, become. I really like two. I think it's become just another franchise. I mean, I don't think yeah. I don't I don't I can't speak to what the quality is going to be. I, I think the stuff that makes Gears of War is established at this point, so yeah. it's really going to be paint by numbers for whoever does it next. Kind of like uh, the handoff from Halo, you know, Bungie with Halo 2, who did, I think somebody else did ODST, 
uh, and and you know what we're seeing with four and all these other games. Yeah. Um, it makes sense. Gears of War was was an exclusive to Microsoft. They're they're making mm-hmm. sure it is still an exclusive. Uh, I'm guessing Epic wanted to go on to other projects. Uh, they were done with it. Uh, but this isn't the first one that Epic, you know, Epic property that's gone on to other developers. Look at Unreal, Unreal Tournament. Um, you know, a lot of stuff they've they've built has been been moved on like this. I think this is just it's just another franchise now. Is the thing. Yeah. It, it was this a smart move me. by Microsoft too. What's that? It was a smart move by Microsoft. To keep it is. It is to make sure they do have the property, system. because regardless yeah. who develops it, um, this is going to sell. Because there, there are people that are dedicated Gears of War uh, fanatics mm. for this. Uh, what were you saying, Riz? It, this scares me. Why? Uh, Microsoft Studios is known to make good games bad. Mm-hmm. I've I've mentioned before about uh, what they did to Banjo Kazooie, right? And everything that Rare did. Yeah, but everything that Rare did is kind of cursed after they bought them. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's still it, it's still them transforming another game. Uh huh. They have to be careful with Gears of War. Just don't screw it up, or else you'll have another fan base boycotting and calling you the worst company in the world, and probably being second place only to EA. <laughs> EA, going <laughs> <laughs> poop board. Two years running. Yeah, like I said, I, I really enjoyed Gears of War 2. In Gears of War 3, I, I got it, but I didn't really play it that much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I should just go back and start playing that again. Um, but, yeah. It, it, yeah, I'm sitting on a copy of Gears of War 2 as well, but it's, it's, it's lining up time to play it with my brother because we always do co-op, co-op modes on those. Yeah. And, and it's kind of tough to get together on that. So, yeah, yeah, certainly. Um, I, I enjoy the Gears of War franchise. I, again, not, not up with the, the most recent ones, but... Um, I think it's one of the, you know, more interesting franchises. I mean, it was it was the I think it wasn't the first one to really have good like duck and cover gameplay. Yeah. Um, yeah. like which really brings to you know what we do now in Call of Duty, I think, mm-hmm. uh, but third person. Uh, and it was it was a really good, really cinematic. It was a really good new concept that really showed off the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's good to see it's going to keep going, you know, for whatever shape that's going to be, you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I wonder if they're going to continue the judgment storyline, or if they're going to just start over from scratch, or what. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. All right, uh, we're going to move on to our next story, which is the Super Bowl, guys. Hey, hey what does that football. have to do with video games? I'll football, tell you. Football. Two different predictions from two different games. Madden NFL 25. They predict the Super Bowl will end up. Snow covered, of course. <laughs> um, it'll be the f- and they they also predict it'll be the first ever overtime for a Super Bowl, and it has the Broncos winning by a field goal. Okay. Also predicting the Super Bowl was Tecmo Super Bowl. They didn't predict snow because you know it's Tecmo Super Bowl. Can't really get too in depth up, in depth of it. But the interesting thing is Tecmo Super Bowl also predicted a Super Bowl overtime. With Denver also winning, but by safety. So interesting predictions there. Um, and 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 Madden has a, a really good track record as uh, predicting predicting winners. Um, I think they said it predicted eight eight out of the past ten Super Bowl winners. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, it's a pretty good simulation. Uh, I personally think the Broncos are going to win. I like both teams, so I th- I think it's going to be a good game. Um, what do you guys <laughs> think? I don't. I don't think- <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that close. You don't think it's going to be close? I don't think Tecmo Bowl is going to – it's not going to be a Tecmo Bowl safety to win it. I don't safety. think that's going to be the, be the, the thing overtime. that breaks the camel's back. But I think it's going to be close until the fourth, and that's when Denver takes it. Mm-hmm. So you think Denver's going to win? Two touchdowns. Cool. I have Chachi no opinion. Sword? I'm I'm just looking for a good game here. I, wait, I, wait, wait, I, I wait, do love. We're I do. talking about Denver versus Seattle, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We're we're talking about the same Super Bowl, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we're talking about Denver, who has arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, correct? Who can take any receiver and make him an all star, correct? Yeah. Versus Seattle. 
who is there? Seattle has the best defense in the league, though. They That's have the, the best thing. quarterback. The best offense, it doesn't matter. The best, the best defense in the league going against Peyton Manning, who is known for picking apart yeah. defenses. In the, in, the only thing that scares me is in the postseason, and he sucks in the postseason. <laughs> what what That's podcast all. is this turning into? I don't know. But, yeah, we're going to move it, on. It's going to be Denver. It's in not going to be a good game. It's going to show you blowout. how dangerous he can but, be. Do you think the games will predict them accurately? And we all said no, because I don't think it's going to go to overtime, and I don't think there's going to be safety. Uh, but well, it, it's it, accurate that the Broncos are going to win. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the only thing. That's what you go by. That might happen. I yeah. mean, it is it is a pretty interesting. I don't know about Tech Mobile, but uh, <laughs> Tech Mobile. Um, has, who, I mean, the, Madden has a lot going into it, so I think that's yeah. the most accurate thing. Because I mean, the the way. Yeah, who, uh, they who's worked the quarterback the for the and Seahawks in the in Tech Mobile, by the way? They, I think they updated it with like current. Players. Oh, they updated, it. and then yeah. that's not Tech Mobile. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Peyton Manning was playing back then. <laughs> Should have been, huh? All wow. right, let's talk about well, video we're games. Move, we're we're gonna move um, into our final round, uh, which I wrote an article on the site this week, uh, highlighting a game that. A lot of you probably missed, which was um, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Um, I'm going to try to do the, at least one uh, title that we might have missed from a system per month. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys, what are some of the Xbox or PS3 games that we might have missed playing on that you've played that others might have missed playing? Uh, I'll go first. Um, and, and, and this isn't an Xbox game. It's multi-platform, but I know it's available on Xbox. Um, mm-hmm. And it's actually the one I first intended to get it for. Uh, Limbo. Ooh, okay. You guys played Limbo? Yeah, um, it was a, it was a good it's game. very uh, ominous. It's black and white. Um, you're this creepy little kid walking through this kind of shadow world. It's a 2D scroller. You don't really have weapons or anything. It's very like like you have two buttons that kind of do things like grab, pull. So it's kind of uh, Prince of Persia-ish uh, in, in that kind of gameplay. Um, I'm about halfway through it um, on, on, it's on my MacBook. Um, it is one of the most interesting experiences I've had uh, in recent time. And I really go to, and I think a lot of these uh, selections should be a lot of independent stuff like this that mm-hmm. are doing really interesting gameplay. I think we've talked about here a little bit in, in the past about some of these like oddball different games, you know, like one, yeah. like one, like, like the Papers, Please. Uh, I know it's been, been talked about a lot, a lot in the last uh, few months. Um, I, I think, I think that's, you know, or Fez, like I hate like, the guy that did it. Fez was a really interesting concept um, and a really fun game. Fez. So, but we're not going to recommend Fez because <laughs> screw that guy. Go steal Fez. Screw Fez. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Steal Fez. <laughs> it, it's a great game. game. It is. It is a good game. That it's just that asshole doesn't deserve your money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He left the so, game industry anyways. Go steal the game. Yeah. Yeah, steel fence. If you don't know what It'll we're talking be- about, go uh, g- get your hands on uh, indie game the movie, and you'll understand. And there's more stuff past it where you're like, no, this guy's kind of a dick. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> now, super. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'll throw it. Can I throw another one? I don't think anybody else is going to pick the Super Meat Boy. Is another one I've been playing. Oh yeah. Also That's featured great, yeah. in that movie. Um, really fun game, especially like two mm-hmm. D insane very, platformers. Very difficult. Mm-hmm. Very difficult. Level above the bar. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what about you, Bobby? Um, I, I picked uh, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning on my in my article, but I'm going to uh, preview the next game I'm going to write about, which is Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of pe- people didn't pick this up. It's a really good game. Um, it's an, an action advent- action adventure platforming game um, set in like a post apocalyptic future, um, where you are a character that. Um, you have to help this girl escape, and she puts, like, a shock collar on you, hmm. and you have to f- basically follow her instructions, or she, like, basically, she can shock you, basically. Um, but it's 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 a really cool story. Um, I played a lot of the game. Um, I, I remember buying it at, when Blockbuster was still a thing. So <laughs> that, that should tell you, it was one of the earlier Xbox 360 games released. What's, but, what's um, a it's, it's really It's really good. It's a good cult classic game. Um, not a lot of people probably played it, but it's worth picking up. Awesome. So Riz, you got one? I. You guys know what I'm going to say. 
Battle Block Battle Theater. Block Theater. <laughs> is amazing. I keep telling you this, and you guys say, oh, I'm going to play it. And I come back to you, and you never play it. I played it it's a couple a, times. It's a puzzle game where you have to find all these gems, and, and it is amazing. The storytelling, the scenario, uh, the scenes, the backdrop, the play, the, the gameplay itself... It, it will it's, ruin friendships. It's by the same company that did um, Castle Crashers, correct? Yeah, the Castle okay. Crashers. Um, they did another Alien, game, Alien too. Hominid? I can't remember yeah. off the top of my head. Yeah, I think they did Happy Wars. Yeah, Happy yeah I think you're right. They did Happy they Wars, too. And stuff. They are amazing at this. I can, like, when I played this game, I played this for hours. And it didn't matter if I was dying at the same level over and over again. It was still addicting. And that's what makes this game awesome. Because you can't stop playing this game. Cool. All right, Chachi, you have one? Uh, shoot many robots. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I second um, this. What's that? I second that that one. Yeah, it, it's an older... It's a, it's a few years old... Um, but it, it's a really fun game that you can sit down and play with your friends. Mm -hmm. um, you can play it alone as well. Um, it, it's just a lot of the stuff in it is uh, really, really fun. Uh, the weapons are hilariously named, and it, it's definitely worth the time. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I guess if you liked uh, uh, Contra, it's like an over-the-top Contra. Does that seem accurate? Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, you can do that. Just with yeah, a lot but, more robots. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> it, it's and like, wackier guns. Yeah, it's like a wackier contra because it's it's that kind of shooting kind of thing, just with more did, interesting stuff. Did they also do the orc one too? And wasn't there an orcs game like kill many orcs or something like that? Too? I don't know. They might have. Yeah, I. Th it sounds familiar. But I don't know. But it it was also the uh, Xbox Live free game of the month. Uh, I think in December. Yeah. So uh, some of you may that. have already grabbed it and just maybe haven't hopped into it yet. So I missed out. I'd on definitely it. give that a shot. Definitely. Oh, speaking of, I picked up Tomb Raider, uh, the the one that's free this 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 time. I've done the purchase, but I've run out of room on my hard drive. So. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that's the worst. I know, right? I, I guess I can I can I can delete Crackdown. I I'm, I don't like that one. So you know, and Fable Three, I guess. And that's the only game I've ever fallen asleep playing. <laughs> Which one, Fable or what, Crackdown? Crackdown, <laughs> Crackdown. Crackdown. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Crackdown is pretty bad. Yeah. And a little, can I do like a little side story before we go? All right, real quick. Go ahead. No. I picked up. I downloaded Mass Effect on my original Xbox 360, mm -hmm. thinking it was Crackdown. What? I thought Mass Effect was Crackdown until I played Mass Effect and then realized it was a better game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Way better just putting that out there. <laughs> All right, that's going to do I it was a confused us. gamer. Uh, you can follow us on at InsertCoinTV. Uh, you can go to the website. New article is going up daily on InsertCoinToBegin.com. Um, you can join us every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on Live.SorgatronMedia.com. <laughs> And uh, you can donate to Chachi Plays soon, right, Chachi? Yeah, the donations will open up here shortly. Um, okay. But you can go to ChachiPlays.com for all the pertinent information at this point in time. Awesome. And uh, you can also go to ExtraLife.org for our thing in October, but take your time on that. Um, Chachi's is coming up right sooner. So um, support Chachi, and there you go. Uh, game over, guys. <laughs>